Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters and friends I hope everyone is fine with the blessing of almighty Allah so without any delay let's start today's video Al Mahdi let's talk a little bit about him it is in the Sunni belief I'm going to quote to you the Sunni belief because there are other beliefs about Al Mahdi no authentic hadith is in Bukhari and Muslim about Al Mahdi specifically but there is an indication the rest of the hadiths are dispersed throughout the other books of hadith and they are called mutawatir which means that they have come from different angles of narrations which means the scholars accept them as authentic all of them some of them are weak and some of them are made up but here are the ones that are authentic inshallah that al-mahdi means the guided one his name is muhammad son of abdullah his father's name is abdullah his name is the same name as muhammad sallallahu the prophet peace be upon him said his name is like my name and his father's name is like my father's name from the prophet's direct lineage he is from the lineage of fatima radiallahu anha and ali radiallahu anhu and he will emerge towards the end of time he will fill the world with justice just as it was filled with injustice and depression and he will rule as the khalifa for seven years or eight years according to different narrations of hadiths at seven or eight years Within that time, he will change the oppression and corruption in the world, especially in the Middle East, from what it is now to become so just and equitable for all people, Muslims and non-Muslims alike. And Rasul said, he will rule as Khalifa for 78 years, and there will be lots of vegetation that will grow and plant growth. Wealth will increase, meaning there will be economic stability and there will be economic yeah. equality there will be no poor people anymore wealth will increase and blessings will flourish and the prophet ﷺ described him uh, the so much description he said he will have a wide forehead and a thin nose and he will break the cross and kill the pig and abolish the jizya the tax system because there will be no more poor people enough to receive it, meaning non-Muslims will no longer pay the tax because there will be no more poor people to receive it and the Muslim empire will no longer need any economic mm. help. So no more need for the jizya even from the non-Muslims. Brothers and sisters, there's, there's a lot of packed information there. Al-Mahdi will break the cross. What does that mean? It doesn't mean literally that he breaks the cross because there are thousands and millions of crosses. Will he break every single cross? No. The correct opinion among the scholars is that he will abolish the ancient idea of the Trinity and that Jesus is the Son of God, which is based on the symbol of the cross. The whole idea of the cross is that the Son of God was sent down, who is Jesus Christ, to die for our sin and our atonement, and that he died for our sins, and that the original sin, according to the Catholic religion and others, that the original sin uh, is something that Jesus Christ came to take care of, and then he was resurrected, and so on and so forth, and all of that. That idea, that concept, and that belief will be destroyed. How? The majority of Christians, according to the Hadiths, will actually repent and follow Isa yeah. salam under the Islam, and under the Quran and Sunnah, inshallah. And then what happens? It says that Al-Mahdi will be running away. He won't know that he's the Mahdi. From a place in the east, some hadiths say he will end up in Medina, and from Medina he will run to Mecca. He will not know that he's the Mahdi. He will not know. And he will arrive in Mecca. An army will be following him, also from the east, and they want to kill him, and the earth will swallow them up, or something will happen to them. The ulama will look around in Mecca at him and will know that he is the appointed Mahdi. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make him righteous and prepared in a very short yeah. time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not waste, you know, there will not be much time wasted. And he will be the leader, Rasul sallallahu said in many authentic hadiths, he is your Khalifa. He will be your Khalifa. Now of course it doesn't mean there will be no Khalifa before him or a leader. Some Muslims, they wait and they say, until the Mahdi comes, and they sit doing nothing. Brothers and sisters, this is weak, and this is laziness, and this is giving in to miraculous divinity. A Muslim does not think like that. 
We don't sit there waiting for God to take care of things. No, you have to do your part. So, brothers and sisters, I hope you have watched today's video and I hope you liked the video. Sheet Bilal Asad, as everyone knows that, whenever Sheet Bilal speak, we always speak according to Quran and Hadith. So, in today's video, Sheet Bilal Asad told us about Al Mahdi, the appearance of Al Mahdi at the end of time when he will fill the earth with justice and fairness after it had been filled with injustice and wrongdoing is something that is mentioned in the authentic sunnah and some of the scholar of hadith said the hadith about the mahdi are mutator because of their large number and the descent of isa ibn maryam peace be upon him and his spring behind him is something that is well known. The name of the Mahdi, the name of his father, will be like the name of Prophet peace be upon him. And the name of his father, he will be one of the descendants of Fatma Ta'ala Anha. The Mahdi who is mentioned in the Hadith is, is not so called awaited Mahdi, mentioned by the divide group, the Itna Ashri, who claim that he entered the Tamil and his awaiting the order to merge and whose name this says Muhammad bin al Hassan al Astari. This is an allusion and amit and the refutation of that is discussed in both and there is no rule to go into here. So this is what Ulama of the world says about Al Mahdi. So guys, what do you think? What Sheikh Bilal has said about a Mahdi is true or not? Please let us know by giving your comments below. And if you are satisfied with the video of Sheikh Bilal said, then it's a request to you guys. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. So whenever a new video will be published, you will get its notification first. See you guys in next video. Till then, Allah Hafiz.